Behold. The only thing greater than yourself. Yeah. Okay. And this is on Bradford. This was the entrance to Club Sensations. 45 Branford Place, Newark, New Jersey. And this is the new Club Sensations. New Club Sensations. It's closed right now. I can go ahead. Oh my goodness. How you doing? What's up, girl? Now, every time we should be getting your ticket, you'll probably see us in the club. Okay. Peace, love, and respect. No, no, no. I ain't make no phone call. Alright, cool. But you home? You home? Or what? Listen, uh, this is Monet. How you doing? How are you? Good. She's doing a documentary about us. Jersey, the club, sensation. Zanzibar, all the clubs we had in uh, in Newark. Okay. So you know I had to bring it here. This is what you do. <laughs> Hold up. <on. laughs> <laughs> one minute. I just need you for one minute to like. Just say this is the new club sensation. Right, okay. You know, because I already got the outside establishing thing going right. on. If you could just okay, put this battery run out. Yeah. Go ahead. All right, we are now in the new club sensation. One more time. When I raise my hand, okay? All right. We are now at the new club sensation. Come take a look. And are they still playing house music in here? We're not open right now. Oh, this is new? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, when did that club sensation close down? You don't want to be on camera, did you say that? Yeah, Okay, <laughs> when, when did the, um, that one close down? It's a 93. 93, okay, yeah. so it's been a while. Yeah, okay. What made y'all reopen this? You know, I think there was, you know, always that desire to do what was, mm -hmm. and knowing that what's out there today, you know, didn't reflect what was going on. Well, for the most part, just bars. Right, right. So we right. decided to spend some money. <laughs> what I'm about to show you is all the power that runs sensation. The Infrax right here. Check them out. All right. We got the QSCs. And then we got the powerhouse crown. Powerhouse crown. But anyway, so um, what was your, what were you doing there? I, I think you were saying, I think you had mentioned that you were, or either Punch said it, that you were like uh, working there and all of a sudden they snatched you in to start DJing or something. How did that work? 
actually nobody knew that I was a DJ. I was actually working actually uh, in the coat room. And uh, I think, well, I got noticed by one of the uh, DJs there, actually a guy named Ironball, who introduced me to the owner. And then from that point, I was uh, the owner, uh, which is Kelly. Uh, he, uh, you know, put me out there, test me out for the night. You know, I wind up taking, you know, from one hour, I went to three hours, and I started playing the whole night. Wow. And they were, they were feeling you on that first night then? Yeah, no doubt. And so they said, we got to get him back up here. Yes. So the rest is what? History? The rest is all history. It was, uh, I started playing music and uh, they were enjoying themselves the whole night. And uh, sometimes we even stayed with them a little later because they were having such a great time. Sound mm -hmm. system was awesome. Did you stay at New Experience until it turned into Sensations or? Yeah, I was the only jock, uh, the original jock from uh, day one. Then we changed into uh, Sensation. Uh, became uh, uh, really more underground then for sure. More underground and then with a slash, uh, a little bit of hip hop started coming in a little later in the 80s. Mm -hmm. So did it switch ownership at that time? No, it was the same owner. But they decided to change the name? Yes. Why was that? I don't know. It was, just, it was a change in the era. Um, you know, the years. You know, from from really playing just strictly more uh, classic, uh, classic music, and then going to house music. Then house became house slash uh, hip house music. Like mm -hmm. Thing greater than yourself.